Hey guys, Miss B. Hanley here, and today we're here to talk about vocabulary, an introduction to morphology. So when we're trying to expand our vocabulary, we want to understand the meanings of different words. And there are so many words in the English language, but there is a trick to understand the parts of words. So in order to understand the parts of words, you have to know morphology. Morphology comes from the Greek word to change and the study of. So morphology is the study of how things change. And when it comes to language and especially English, we're gonna be looking at how words change depending on the different parts. To be more specific, when we talk about morphology, we're talking about the specific units in words, such as prefixes, suffixes, base words, and root words. A prefix is a part of a word that comes at the beginning. A suffix is a part of a word that comes at the end. Prefixes and suffixes have to have a root word or a base word in order to be a complete word. Root words are words that come from other words but have to have other parts in order to be a complete word. Base words are complete words on their own, but can have prefixes or suffixes added on. All of these categories are known as morphemes. We can break up a word into these morphemes to better understand the definition. Take a look at these four words. Dog, house, chair, boat. These words are meaningful units. When you see that word, you're able to make a picture in your head of what that word means. If you have two morphemes together, you have a compound word, like bathtub. This is a combination of the word bath and tub, or fingernail. This is a compound word, combined from the word finger and nail. These morphemes can also have prefixes and suffixes. These prefixes and suffixes can change the meaning of the root word. For example, the word distrusted. Trust is a base word and it has a single definition on its own. If you add the prefix dis, it means against. And if you add the suffix ed, it means the past tense. So someone that was not trusted in the past. Now let's take a look at the word repainting. The base word is paint, and it has a single definition on its own. But if you add the prefix re, it means to do again, and the suffix ing meaning in the present tense. So repainting means to paint something again right now. Now let's talk about root words. Root words are part of a word that has a definition, but it cannot stand on its own. In fact, it's bound to a prefix or a suffix in order for it to have a meaningful definition. Let's take a look at the word retracted. Our root word is tracked. This has a definition meaning to move, but it needs other parts in order for it to have a meaningful definition. So if we put the prefix re at the beginning and ed at the end, we have to do again move in the past tense. So we have removed something in the past. Let's try another root word example. We have our root word rupt, which means to explode or go up, but it doesn't have a meaningful definition without a prefix or a suffix. So we put enter as our prefix and ing as our suffix. Enter means to go into, so to explode into something in the present tense. So when you're reading words, you can break them up into prefixes, suffixes, 
base words, and root words to better understand the definition of the word. So that's it for introduction to morphology. I hope this helped you better understand the different parts of words known as morphemes and how you can interpret them in their meaningful definitions. If you like this video and you wanna see more vocabulary videos from me, please subscribe or leave a comment down below. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in class. Bye.